it is so great to finally meet you and talk to you and understand a little bit more about Avalon, which I personally find a very, very interesting product because I've been on a number of river cruising products and Avalon to me is um, underrated, maybe is what I'd like to say about it because it is such a solid, beautiful ship. The product is solid. The panoramic windows are amazing. And I don't know if advisors understand the value that they're getting when they sell Avalon. You know, it's interesting that you say that because I think that we surprise people a lot with Avalon. And I don't know why that is. Um, you know, I don't know that if it's, and I've heard from some people that it might be that because we're part of the Globus family of brands that people kind of see us tied to Globus. And so they have this expectation, Avalon equals Globus, but Avalon certainly is at a higher standard yeah. than Globus. And um, as you said, you know, it really is a relaxed luxury brand and um, great value as well. And the the um, rooms, the panorama suites that you also brought up with the 11 foot wide wall to wall windows and the beds facing the view, the bathroom. Brilliant. You know, we get incredible comments about our bathrooms. I think they're the best bathrooms on a river cruise ship, quite honestly, um, that I've seen. And, you know, we have won awards from Cruise Critic um, many years in a row for having the best staterooms in river cruising. We're currently the top rated river cruise line on Cruise Critic. So I didn't I, know that. That's yeah. amazing. But it doesn't surprise me because it's been a long time that I've been on a ship. But I remember uh, when I got into the stateroom, I thought, wow, this just feels like, you know, these new boutique hotels, like the, even just the, the the numbers on the door, the way they were positioned and the font that was used and the door handles and the, it just everything has a very slick feel to it, I find. Well, and it was designed with that purpose in mind. And, the, and you know, I'm loving, <laughs> I'm loving that you totally picked up on the vibe of Boutique Hotel, because that was absolutely what was in our minds when the brand was created and the style that we wanted to, um, you know, have on board and portray on board was this feeling of being in a boutique hotel. And so the fact that that's what it felt like to you makes me really happy because that's that's what we want to portray to our guests. And that's the feeling we want them to have on Avalon and that that I do think guests are experiencing. And, um, you know, the the food on board is fantastic. It I, and, is. and it really is quite often over delivering, which is always a great thing, but I want to make sure that advisors realize and don't overlook us because they aren't necessarily always thinking, as you said, um, that Avalon might be to the level that um, that they're expecting. So if somebody's coming in, they might think, "Oh, I'm you know I'm looking for a higher end product," but they should consider Avalon right up there with all the other river cruise lines that that they're considering. Yeah, there was a group of us on the ship and um, we went in, for, I think it was for lunch and there was a buffet and I thought, yeah, whatever. But and I thought, oh my God, every single dish that I tried was really a culinary delight. And I'm, and I'm not, I don't usually, you know, just sit here and blow smoke. I, it is absolutely the truth. It was amazing food. And I don't know how you do it for the price that you sell the product for. Because if people, like you said, are looking for a really she-she product, I think but can't afford it, certainly look no further because it's, it really delivers. Well, you know, how we do it, I think, is that we've come up with what we consider to be the right level of inclusivity. Um, so we really are a customer-driven brand and we we look to what our customers are looking to have included. So we, uh, we do include a lot with our cruises. So there are excursions in every port, most of the time choices of excursions, which is somewhat of a change. You know, in the past, it was always there was a walking tour included. And what we saw is that our guests really, the demographic of our guests were changing and the things they were looking for. So now there's uh, in most ports, a choice of excursions, quite often something active, um, a discovery type excursions. So discoveries would be things like going to a winery or a cooking class, uh, painting 
cleaning class even. So all of these different, different types of hands-on activities. And then the classic style excursion, which might be a walking tour, you know, uh, seeing the must-see sites of the town or city that you're, you're visiting. Uh, so those are included. We include beer and wine with lunch and dinner. Uh, we just added happy hour last year. So that was something that, nice. I, yeah, we were hearing from our guests that, you know, they didn't want all inclusive drinks. What they wanted was happy hour. And that's really what we were seeing most guests were purchasing was a cocktail prior to dinner. And so we added that in. Um, and, you know, it really is the right amount of inclusive for our for our guests that choose Avalon. We are really able to um, to be priced in a competitive and um, reasonable way with a two hundred and fifty dollar deposit securing securing the booking and final payment due at 90 days, which I think is a wonderful thing for travel yeah. advice. Also, to not have to explain why somebody has to pay for an entire cruise, you know, at the time of booking, because that's always hard. That's smart. And, th and it shows an understanding of what travel advisors' lives are like and what they deal with with their clientele. And I know that you prize your relationship with the trade and you actually have a program that helps support it, correct? We do. And we are, you know, truly dedicated to the travel advisor community. Uh, we have our sales team is 100% dedicated to the trade. We have 50 people in our sales team across North America, 11 in Canada alone, that are fully dedicated to the trade. And coming out of COVID, yeah, coming out of COVID, we really felt we needed to, you know, even boost more what we were doing to help those partners who have supported us all of these years um, to build their business even stronger coming back. So we developed our partner for profit program, which really is all about helping the trade, uh, our trade partners um, to do business with us in an easier way and to show them how doing business with the Globus Family Brands and Avalon Waterways is a great way to build their business. So it's all about um, us being easy to do business with, about how we pay commission. Um, so we pay commission at the time of final payment. So it's not at right. after travel. So we actually have received some awards from uh, trade industry associations for that. That's something it brings the commission payment on Avalon about four months earlier than a lot of uh, a lot of companies. So that's really important, especially now to get that money in house earlier. And it's about, you know, kind of re remodeling even our sales team and how they work with our with our advisors. Now, you mentioned the C word COVID. So I am going to ask you about um, the business, how it's tracking prior to COVID. I think river cruising was super hot. I mean, it was, you know, really had a lot of momentum. Of course, everything stopped. But where are you seeing the business at the moment? Did 2023 perform? Are you seeing the early bookings for 24? Talk to us a little bit. Sure. So you're absolutely right. 2019 did incredibly well. Um, 2023, we were not back fully to our 2019 levels, but very close. Um, right. the, the U.S. market performed the best of our markets that we sell in. We sell in all of the English speaking markets and the U.S. market did perform the best. And the reality, I think, was that the U.S. market opened up earlier than the other markets. So when I was in Australia earlier this year, it was a very similar story, I would say, to what I would uh, what I said in Canada when I spoke at the ACTA conference. I see both of those markets being, you know, 12 to 18 months, depending on the market behind where the U.S. is. And when I look at the trend lines, you can almost see that exactly in terms of, um, you know, the, the opening of the market in terms of being ready to travel and what the numbers are looking like. So I do see 2024 as being more of the recovery for the um, for Australia, New Zealand, and also for Canada, uh, which we're looking forward to, of course. And I think that'll put us back to above, well, for sure, we're already trending about 25% above 2019. Yay. Or, yes, for 2024 worldwide. So okay. incredibly well. So that shows you that river cruising is still very hot and we're having a great start to 2024. Um, we have a new ship, uh, so we have also, you know, some growth. We have a new ship, the Algria, coming in Portugal. Oh, nice. And, yes, very nice. We're we're super excited, and it sold out very quickly. Yay. Uh, so we did just add two more departures in November. So if, if we have advisors who were looking for space in 2024 and it was gone, 
uh, we were able to add two more departures. So there's still, there's now a little bit of room, but if you're thinking 2025, we're already starting to see that fill. Um, so that's Holy great. Cow, have, but that's great it, news. It is, it is. It's exciting to see, um, you know, river cruising st being strong and the market really coming back. And understanding the Avalon Waterways product, yes. for which we thank you. <laughs> And I uh, look forward to hearing about more about 2024 in the Canadian marketplace. And I'm sure Canada it will be picking up quite a bit because we hear it from all sectors that um, advisors are so busy. So this is great news. Thank you so much for your time, Pam. This was very interesting. Thank you so much.